What's up, people, and welcome back. Today, I'm going to talk about Brightburn. A child crash lands to Earth, and instead of becoming a hero to mankind, he becomes something much sinister. I know what you're thinking. Yeah, me too. But before we get into all that, let's start off with the positives, shall we? The look and feel of this film was really cool. This is a horror film. It was very dark and creepy. The cinematography and the lighting, some of it took place at night and some of those scenes, it was pretty cool. It got me hooked. And as I said before, this is a horror film. So the story basically follows this kid who crash lands to Earth in this space shuttle. Kind of get where I'm going with this? Does it sound familiar? Yes, it's basically a horror version of Superman. His myth and his origin, except it's just a more sinister horror version of it. And speaking of the kid, Jackson A. Dunn, who plays Brandon, the evil spawn, he played a pretty cool part. His look and everything, you could tell that this kid was trouble. Like the first act, of course he wasn't. Just like it did with Superman, he tries to find his true calling. But in this, it doesn't end that well. Basically, this kid is a twisted, dark version of Superman born from the death of the values that the original one embodied. So, in other words, he's an alien, just like Superman, only evil. He did a great job. He gave a pretty solid performance. Elizabeth and David plays Tori and Kyle, the adopted parents. They're kind of like the Kents of this film. They gave a pretty good performance. The score was done pretty nicely as well. As soon as the movie began, it kind of reminded me of how the Texas Chainsaw Massacre at the beginning began. It had a certain score to it, like a real creepy vibe. When this movie started, it made me think of that. It's very nicely done. Moving into my next. About the kid, Brandon, I wish they would have threw a little more backstory. Now, I get that they were trying to make this as much about the horror elements as possible, but I wish they would have threw a little more, like hinted on where this kid came from. You know Superman came from Krypton. Where did this kid come from? I guess they're going to save that for the sequel. I don't know. I hope it made enough money. I hope they make another one just so we can find that out. But I just wish they would have threw a little more of a backstory to this kid and what this thing was doing to him that kind of changed him. Plus the jump scares was okay. And those dark scenes where he was lingering around the corner. Oh yeah, those got to me. But sometimes the jump scares, it just seemed a little watered down, a little bland. They didn't all land, but the ones that did, oh yeah, it got me jumping out of my chair. My final thoughts on this somewhat interesting horror take, it was pretty good. It was pretty decent. I like the idea that they threw in this story of an evil type Superman, even though he wasn't actually Superman in this film, he was just an evil entity, an evil alien that had Superman's powers. Let me just say this, and to be quite frank, if Superman ever had a kid brother that turned out to be evil, like if he was discarded by the Council of Krypton or whatever, this would be that kid. I have no doubt. Keep in mind, this is a horror movie. They usually never spend any more than 15 to 20 million dollars on something like this. So this film did not consist of many special effects. Even though this film revolved around this kid that had Superman-like powers, it was more about the horror elements than the action. There was no action in it, hardly. It was just more horror. And yes, you did see scenes, and even in the trailers, you've seen where he would run really fast, just like Superman. That's the most you'll get. And you also do see him fly up in the air, but that's all you get. But the harm element is still there. That being said, I'm giving the film a B. What did you think of Brightburn? Folks, leave me your comments down below and give me your thoughts. Thank you so much, guys, for watching this video. I really do appreciate it. Like, subscribe, and get reputized by clicking that bell icon for more posts. And stay tuned for more videos and reviews coming soon to a computer screen or a cell phone near you. Peace the rip out.